Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today I am on Chords. So long since I've played this guy. Um, this is not so much a tutorial. Um, I am going to tell you what I'm doing, but um, this is more of a, hey, for those people who uh, miss Chords or um, uh, never saw him kite, uh, this is uh, for you guys. So what I did is I went out and pulled mobs, um, and once I do that, then I go ahead and auto run and press Q so that I can start strafing. Then what you need to do is you need to press the mouse uh, right, the right mouse button, and then start moving um, right. You want to go ahead and make a nice tight right circle. And what you're doing there is you're um, you're wanting them to get to the point where you can just see them inside that room, that, that little corner there. Once you see that, you want to go ahead and, um, and hit them with your dot. Now, what I do is I use two instruments. I'm using uh, the lute and I'm using the, um, the brass instrument and switching between the songs now I have as you can see um, on the left side I have my spells in my one two three four five and what those are in uh, order is the first one is the brass dot the second one is chords of dissonance the third one is my heel song the fourth one is Salo's and the sixth one, or the fifth one is um, um, Bruceful Be uh, Bellow. And that's how I usually pull if the mob isn't um, social. Um, the mobs that I do like to pull, though, are social so that um, I can run them into other mobs and it makes it easier for me to pull them. So I, um, uh, once uh, you get all of that set up, what I'm doing is I'm moving right with my mouse with the right button clicked in I'm pressing one and then once that hits I'm pressing um, two twice so that I can turn the song off and turn it back on and then I'm moving uh, the I'm taking my uh, finger off the right mouse so I'm essentially strafing in one direction and then I go ahead and put the next instrument in and start turning again with the mouse. So that's pretty much easy, uh, what happens. Now, there are things that will affect if um, for why you would die or why you would get hit, which will, it's hard to see in the video. But um, what I'm doing is I'm essentially playing with how close can I get them before they hit me. And so I'm doing that by turning right, and the the uh, harder you pull right is the further that they get close to you. And sometimes with server latency and you trying to just get them close enough so you can hit that song, uh, you end up pulling right too hard and it will um, get you hit or killed. And that, that's what ends up happening very soon here in the video. Um, I try to record... While I and and talk about what I'm doing as I was um, as I was doing this, but with the latency and the fact that there is some kind of lag um, in the game whenever I'm recording, it goes from um, from 60 uh, frames per second to 30 frames per second when I'm recording, and so it uh, it's no it's not good. <laughs> So that's uh, I, I, it's just hard to concentrate while I'm talking and also um, doing what I'm doing. So anyway, what ended up happening there is I turned too sharp and they 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 reminded me what I was supposed to be doing. Um, so what I usually do if I live is I sail those out, throw in um, my um, my loot and start singing my heel. And when you do that, you're turn, you're letting salos run out, and um, and you're pretty much starting back over um, in your in your kite. So the reason that I zoomed out there is because of the fact that um, 
whenever the mobs hit you, they hit you like a wall, essentially. And when you throw a tomato against the wall, they spread out. So, um, what they end up doing is when they hit you, they spread out. And uh, so, they, you apparently are the wall, and they are the tomato. Maybe I, I was saying that wrong. Uh, but either way, uh, you have to get them grouped back together and then... Uh, start doing what you were doing and what I'm doing now is I'm just continually to tighten that circle uh, because whenever I run away from them uh, they have to now try to catch up with me and that gives me enough time to get some heal in and uh, you can already see bodies on the ground I, I pulled um, uh, Harriers av um, Advocates and Teshmon Knolls so let's talk about bards and the um uh the zone that you're in i understand how it is you get um that bug once you see that first big pull that you do and that experience bar jumps that you just want to go out and get all the rest of the zone and as a bard you pretty much can but you want to be respectful to the zone <laughs> Uh, because, um, well, not that anyone can really do anything to you unless you're on the red server, but, um, it's just, it's not, I mean, you're just showing your colors, um, in, in, uh, not being respectful to the people. So, here's what I did is, first off, I went to the, uh, Aviok hut. Nobody was there. So I went ahead and pulled. Pulled uh, from the top down, um, only pulling Aviox and Herrors. Uh, some of the mobs that I ended up also pulling were the lower level mobs because of the fact that I wanted to get them away so that um, they could respawn as the bigger mobs. And then I went over to um, Split Paw and no one was there. So I went ahead and pulled there. Um, I also did oh, uh, um, camp checks, and um, whenever there was uh, no one claiming, I went ahead and pulled. So, also, um, if you see someone is at one of those camps, um, what I usually do is I go ahead and just say, Hey, do you mind if I pull one or two of the mobs here? Um, and then I go out and find other mobs because you're going to find Teshmon Knolls that are just randomly walking about. You'll also find, um, uh, Aviok Har Harriers and, um, and other mobs. So you don't have to, um, only do the two big, biggest, uh, camps. You can go ahead, go ahead and, uh, just play out in the the forest as it were now where am i gonna go next uh now that i'm level 29 I, i'm not showing that i'm level 29 in this video but i am level 29 now i think what i'm gonna go ahead and do is not do the typical go to over there but probably go to um funeral vine i think that will probably be the best thing to do so guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope I helped you, but that really wasn't the purpose. It was more of, hey guys, I played chords and now I'm leveling him along with my other characters again. I think that if I continue with the kiting, that he will be the first one to 50 at least. And I think that's, um, I think that's good. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. This is Cypherdeck. Peace out.